for joining me for another Mastercam video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on and you'll be notified each time a new video is released. Let's take a look at the different filleting options in Mastercam. If we go to wireframe and fillet, you have normal fillets, inverse fillets, circular fillets, clearance fillets, and relief fillets. Let's start with normal. To put a fillet between two entities, you just have to select the two lines. And if I hit a green check, it confirms it, makes it permanent. If I don't hit a green check at that point in time, and just go ahead and select the two lines, you notice the fillet is in light blue. That means I can change that fillet. Right up in the time to either green check or blue check. If I blue check, it just lets me continue onward. At this point, I go and continue to fill it my items here. It makes it pretty easy to move forward. With the enhancements of 2021, we have some other options to create fillets a little bit faster. We go to the fillet command, and we're going to do the same normal fillet. All I have to do is hold my left mouse button down and drag. And it selects the entities much faster. In this particular case, the order doesn't matter. Now let's look at some of the other filleting options. So if we go to fillet, and we say instead of normal inverse, I select the two lines, and it gives me the input inverse fillet. If I check these, it gets me a different result that I don't want, so the order in which you select them does matter. Let's, uh, I'm going to blue check and undo that. And then click, select the right order. And you get this result versus the standard fillet result. Now, if we, let's go back to fillet. And if we want a circle. So, take a look at that. I can select the same two lines or drag. And give me these circles. In this particular case, the order doesn't matter. The side of the line does, for example. If I undo that and I select that, I get the circle in this quadrant versus the upper quadrant here. It's not what I was looking for, so I'm going to blue check and undo that and select them in the order that I'd want the circle to be in. Now let's look at some other options under filleting. If I go back to our fillet command and I'll pan to a new example area here. I want to put in a clearance value instead of having circles. I'm going to put in a clearance value of, let's say, 50 thousandths. So I can pick my two lines and that gives me the fillet here. I can hover and that works as well. I can left click and drag. That works with no problems at all. And I can grab this there, and that works as well. I'm going to green check. In this particular example, the order doesn't matter. The side of the line would. Now let's zoom in on this and take a look at the clearance value that was left. I uh, put a square on this level here so you can see a little bit easier. If we had a square punch, we wanted to nest in here. Now we have a, a clearance value here. This clearance value allows you to slide the punch in with no interference. In the last filleting function, the relief function, the order is important because you'll get a different result. If I select this line, this line, I'll get this result here. If I select this line to here, I get a result that doesn't match here, so I'm going to quickly undo that by hitting the undo function here. And I'll select in the opposite direction. And I get a good matching result. So depending on how you pick will depend on the result you get with this function. 